Hey, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video, and today uh, I'm going to be playing in creative mode and doing a world tour simply because I have finished off the little town I've been working on for quite the number of episodes now. So when we head out here, I'll just give you an aerial view of what I've been getting up to. Yeah, this is like the full town, pretty much. It's just got main road, got like the secondary route and all this other stuff here. Now, in episodes gone by, there would have been empty lots, but not anymore. It is now just completely filled in. Every single lot has been filled. Except maybe a few minor ones here and there. We might get up to some minor tweaks this episode. But ideally, I'd like to be extending the highway as well. So, in any case, we shall start off um, by getting a horse, or sorry, my car, off the driveway of my estate. Um, I'm not 100% sure when I'd want to build a mansion for myself. It'd be great when I do that, but I'm not entirely sure. And with the, thanks to the new update, I think uh, taking mobs through like portals would be a lot easier. Would it? Yes, it is. I digress, and now we are on to the main road. I'm just taking you back quickly. It's nice to see that I'm getting more support. I really do appreciate that, um, and yeah, I'm really grateful. There's quite a few good things to say. Uh, I've got to be careful about my horse, so that's something up. That, yeah. And uh, with that, uh, yeah, seeing the hill in the distance means that we are nearing the end of our quite long journey. And this is where it all started. Quite the number of blocks, thousands of blocks away from spawn. We've got this little never portal, which I may build some stuff in later episodes. They're probably like train or bed examples, uh, maybe like minus weeks. Um, and I've blocked off this side of the never portal, so only this side is accessible. Now, I'm going to head through here. Got the portal on the other side, which is basically just the same. But then we've got this road made out of crimson and warped blocks. You've got the hill with um, two lanes on the other side. And just two lanes here, we pass through another fortress, which is really quite massive, actually. Uh, and you've got a, ooh, a bastion remnant. I swear I've never seen that before. So you've got another fortress, bastion remnant. Got a soul sand valley. I head through. Another fortress, or even crazier, the same really big one as before. And just keep travelling in a straight line for quite a distance before heading into another soul sand valley and you can see with the hill there we've got two lanes on this side and we are near the end and with that the other portal right here and our horse is going to head in and this is quite interesting I'd like to think we've got this nice little hill um, it's quite artificial but half reasonable at the same time and we head down here our horse has disappeared I wonder where there so when we take our horse back you actually see you've got the you've got a crimson biome on one side and a warped biome on the other we've got like lava coming off of both sides into this nice little lava river which I don't actually think, no, it doesn't head under the road, it's just for aesthetic purposes only. We've got like the crimson stuff on this side with some fungi um, for, of both types, and then there's the same thing on this side except it's warped instead of crimson, and the few warped fungi are now crimson. 
And then for lighting, we've got soul torches. And our horses there. So this two lane road shrinks into one lane. We've got a little passing place here. And then like another small little bit. And then you've got the main highway. And because of the limited things on this, I'll show the highway first before I show the town. So here you've got a two lane road. We're, and you've got a diamond interchange with another two lane road with like one lane slip roads. Which I think is quite cool, quite neat, quite tidy, really quite like it. We've got the road going over and the road stays the same height. And then with this, we've got this two lane road with bushes on either side. And then you've got some lay bias. So you've just got one lane coming off each way with four parking spaces. And the emergency bay clearly designated with orange concrete and no barriers, also being a bit wider as well. You've got the um, like nice little sort of pathway heading around the back here. And you've got like this nice little catering area, like this tuck shop thingy sort of thing. And you've got the same on the other side. And when we head down here, you've got a village over there, but more importantly, from my understanding, yes, you've got a village. Uh, on this side too. I can imagine it would be quite an important raw inter interchange but as you can see by that stray cobweb which I failed to um, clear in that episode this is actually an ex-abandoned village. This used to be all abandoned but in uh, one of the episodes, I think it may have been episode 7 if I remember correctly I actually fully furnished this on camera. So you've got a nice thriving village now. Uh, yeah, you can tell because you've got like the torches on the top when like, other villages don't. And again, missing little bits here and there. But yeah, you've got like that, this and that. It's really good. Quite like to say it. Although, at times it was a bit tedious as well. But anyway, um, as the sun sets, I think what we're going to do is. Uh, head back down the highway and I shall show you some of the uh, things um, in store at the town. So we head back down this two lane road. I'll take the exit. Um, I'll go back to my house because I might as well and I'll show that in more detail later on in the video. think this is my house? Yes it is, it is. So not that way, it's this way. And then I shall go to sleep, like so. Good morning everyone, morning, morning. Seven o'clock was early for bed, but I mean, I just wanted to get the night over and done with and show you the town in daylight. The first things first, we'll head out of our little driveway and head down this uh, little road here. Head down this other road. And I'll just show you some of the details on foot because it's quite annoying when I'm not. So, go and spectator for the flexibility. You've got the main road coming in. Um, quite crazy I'll be showing you south up perspective or no I'll show you north up because that'd be fair enough so you've got the main road coming in from the right and then you've got this road that continues down with a few extra blocks it's quite a gridded layout to be honest uh, with our access streets which I find was quite important actually because of how big these buildings are but yeah you've got a grid of streets with two uh, streets in the middle and then you've got like the parking and then on this side you've got access to another highway this one curves around a little bit so you get that drift around here and then in here you've actually got like the station and then another road carrying on so uh, with that what I think I'll do is show you the station and the railway network so 
with this. Uh, you've got the road coming in down here, and then you've got all the parking, the car parking this way. And here you have got a gap um, in the parking spaces, free wide. Um, might want to consider redesigning this in a later episode, but I'm not sure. But here, by like the train and bus terminals, um, there's this little access here, which like you can cross all these streets to get to the main town itself. Now here, um, you've got the bicycle network. So I'll show you the bicycle network now as well. You've got one bicycle lane coming from this village, and then um, yeah, it comes in this way. You've got the bicycle and the road next to each other, crossing the level crossing, and then round here. And the bicycle path crosses over here, heads left, got a crossing here, and the route heads down. And um, this is actually the only main road that's sort of high speed, like a 50 km an hour speed limit, instead of 30. And as a result of that, you've got the protected bicycle lane to come down here. Um, bicycles share city streets in other parts of the um, village. So down here you've got this um, branch off here, this uh, bicycle lane, um, and it's actually a ford so you've got um, a river which I'll get to later but uh, yeah and the bicycle lane actually dips into that ford like the prismarine, I don't know, it's actually copper not prismarine sorry that goes in there and then you've got all this bicycle parking spaces, so you've got like an entrance here, an entrance here, and another one here. And with that, you've got the uh, bus terminal, uh, uh, joined bus and train terminal. Uh, I'm not sure where I've put my car, actually. Um, I'll, I'll drive in uh, outwards, so, like so. Not use the bicycle lane. But I'll go to my driveway. Hang right here. And then uh, let me go across here. You actually see our combined bus and train terminal. But I'll, I think I'll show you the centre of the world monument first. So here you've got the world. Um, Oh yeah, bonus chest on this one neverite block, and then the torches on the gold. But then this, oh my bad, I did not mean to break that. Yes, this diamond block is zero zero at sea level with the four neverite blocks around it and the eight gold blocks around that. I think it's eight. Yes, it is. One, four, eight. Don't know what it is from after that. So the progression of these blocks is diamond, neverite, gold, lapis, redstone, quartz, copper, emerald, iron, coal, and amethyst. And this gets cut off by the bus road here, and also the centre of the world monument here. Now, uh, as we said, I'll just show you the contents of the world uh, bonus chest. Yeah. Not taking anything from it. But here, you've got the stairs down and the lift down. I'll take the stairs down to show you. Instead of um, trying to be a hero and walking up all the stairs, which I haven't counted, on the way up, I'll just take the lift, like everyone else, on a single player world. Uh, when we get to zero is pretty much when we've um, completed, or well, when the stairs stop. We're like two thirds of the way there, three quarters, five six, five blocks to go, and now you can actually see we're at the monument. So you've got the gentleman toilets. Uh, so you've got like different areas. Uh, this is all two blocks high, except for the toilets themselves, which is free, so I think it gives a nice little, cute little borrowing feeling, I'd like to think. Look, uh, the 
to the fair and the lady toilet got the privacy wall on each side you've got this again three block high now cubicles and then you've got like the um, things there head back round got the center of the world monument head down here and then you have got the neverwrite block which is zero 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 but pressing on this takes you to the true center because well if you may be standing on zero 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 the exact coordinates aren't but by pressing on that button you are exactly zero 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 and this is like the center of the entire world you can't get any more central than this it is like yeah Uh, so with that, we'll head down here. Uh, this is the exit. Take the lift. Jump once. And we are back at the station. But first, I'd show you the bus terminal bit. So you've got all the car parking spaces, right? And then here you've got this uh, red bit to denote its bus only status or status, whatever you prefer. And then you've got this bus thing down here turn left and then you've got three different bus bays like these little platforms here you can like cross the road and that sort of stuff and then this side you've got the um, pathway to the bicycle parking and this is a small little terminal building for the bus station so you can here you've got this nice little waiting area yay You've got like a nice little vending machine, and then you've got some toilets, very small. Hopefully, you're not waiting for long. You've got all this, it's quite compact as well because it's again only used if you like, really, really need to go. But with that all done, we'll show you the train station. So, here you've got the um, tick, you've got the Lining, uh, you've got the queuing area for the ticket offices on either side with the fence gates on each side to stop you from trying going in and then you've got five entrance and four exit gates um, one of each are accessible so you've got the normal one block wide entrance gates and then you've got the exit gates too and then we've got the platform, so we've got platform 1 I'll show you platform level first so on the left you've got the main platform 1 which is, uh, all the platforms are really long as well to accommodate like the maximum length of trains which is about 51 blocks I think yeah 51 so you've got buttons on um, like every 17 blocks roughly to power the track with torches and then you've got the overhead line equipment now, for the first 17 blocks, you're actually inside, fully enclosed with like, the glass walls and stuff. Um, so you've got like pillars, so these pillars, uh, where the uh, buttons are, and also like the edges as well. Uh, the support beams, and you've got like the OLE equipment, or just OLE in general, coming off of each side of it. And then when we get in, uh, the next 17 block after is sheltered, but it's, it's not fully enclosed. And with that, you've got the OLE equipment, which doubles off as a pole. And then further down here, the last 17 blocks are fully open. And as a result, there's no um, like uh, roofs or anything, but it's just the overhead lawn equipment is just on its own, pure, nothing else getting in the way. So yeah, if we head back down here, you've got the platform one, which is just a clear platform. And then platform two, uh, you've got two blocks access on either side, but also a staircase, which I'll show you in a moment's time. Roughly down here, at the end of the uh, enclosed area, you've got the lift. And then it's just quite normal from there, with the track uh, for platform three actually running directly next to and at the same level as the bus road uh, so if we head back down the staircase you've got um, well, this floor you've got all the platforms and the exit 
But if we head up here, go to this central little lobby area, you've got the shop, which is quite big actually. Um, and then you've got the uh, queuing up area for the tills here to pay for your food at the shop. And the egress. And then you've got like this, it's not a waiting room, it's actually described as um, the upper concourse. Uh, so you've got like some seating areas here by the upper concourse. And then heading around here you've actually got the toilets, which are very very open indeed. These are probably the most open out of them all. You've got seven cubicles there, uh, ten, ten things here. You've got the men's toilets. So you've got your three cubicles, five urinals, urinals, whatever you pronounce them. I barely know at this point. And then you've got your six sinks. And then when we head up here, you've got your uh, waiting room. So this is the waiting room, not the concourse. You've got like plenty of seated areas. It's probably one of the largest waiting rooms I've ever built, both in surface area and in volume as well, because it's quite tall. But the main feature is actually over here, the first bath lounge. So you've got like your cell catering areas here. The murky area of the light, warm lighting texture pack of light makes it more homely. You've got a nice dining table here. And then over here, you've got the bar buffet. So you've got um, people like coming along all the way down here. With like barrels. And then you've got smokers as well. Um, so you can actually like crawl and then just like access all these smokers and then you've got like the storage and stuff up here through here and then you've got your high seating which is so high you actually need to climb up a tiny little ladder before you sit down and this is the same all the way down if we head around here you've got this closed off area uh, with actually a shortened roof with some uh, storage as well. You've got like your solo seat. But then you've got your like your twin seats. So you've got your nice little armchair with your table as well. And this is just goes all the way down the side. And with that done, the station is complete. So we just head through here. Down to first and ground floor. Um, you've actually got the um, all the platforms and stuff. Normally, I would show you in the minecart itself, but because of all the details, I'm going to show you um, by air. So once you leave the station, you've actually got these overhead line equipment like pylons, whatever. So you've got one for each track, and all three tracks curve around. Um, but the gap between the pla the tracks for T three and two actually close and then you've got all the tracks directly next to each other in parallel so you've got one massive gantry for all three tracks which runs like this for a little bit but then uh, this track track three merges with track two and we get one special pylon shed between the two tracks and then this one and then track one merges into track two to form the main line also here, I thought I'd mention uh, the existence of this signal box with the left one uh, controlling this point and the right one controlling that point. We head around this track all the way down, with the bushes on one side of the houses and the track here, down here. You've got uh, the point where this main line has a slow loop line that branches off. And then you've got a small little station that uh, comes off here and the, well, the track merges back in afterwards. So let's show you the perspective from this platform right here. And uh, you've got a staircase that heads up over the track, across and back down. And then you've got the lift as well, which does exactly the same thing. We can head up through the doors, through the other doors, back down and straight into the building. So you've actually got the um, barriers here, so you've got one for each side and a shared accessible one. You've got your little waiting room. You've got the ticket office here. And then you've got the toilets, which are very compact indeed. Tucked away in the corner. 
and just head out here, that's pretty much it. But around here, you've got the waiting room for the bus terminal here. You walk in, you've got vending machines and some seats. Walk straight back out. Here you've got the um, bicycle spaces, and then you've got like the bicycle path that heads, um, connects up with the other routes, and then you've got down here the car park, which is quite small, again, link up with the main road. And that bus um, terminal links up with the bus only road from before. And here, you've got another signal box, which is incomplete, and I'll make complete later this video, but I am pressed for time now. The left and most um, one actually controls this point. The middle one um, controls the points all the way down here. And then this one lever here controls all of the gates for this level crossing. So um, it shuts all the gates um, for the road and the bicycle path, which is also mixed use with the walking path here. Um, where there's a train coming. Uh, the existence of this station here, the small one, is because the large station is mainly to serve tourists for the uh, Centre of the World Monument. With these like locals here, uh, being able to usefully uh, cut through this uh, the op this little opening between the two houses, cut through here this path, like mini alleyway, and you have access straight to the station. And with the railway gun, I can show you some of the details, of some of the buildings. So first things first, we've got the cottage courts. Um, you've got the one main loop pathway with um, additional uh, pathways for each of the residencies and also a path just in the middle we've got a couple like communal dining areas and then you have um, each of the buildings so I'll show you this one you walk in you've got your desk with your computer you've got your dining table and your kitchen area which has all the things you need you've also got a nice little nature wonderland thingy sort of thing down here with like the little strain for it uh, set into the floor here you've got um, a nice little painting and then here you've got your bathroom or sorry toilet you've got toilet sink shower but no bath and then here you've got your bedroom you've got double bed with bedside tables and your TV if you head up here you have a uh, rooftop dining area as well and that's the same for each of these um, cottage courts and then for these larger houses I'm going to show you my house so you've got two block wide alleys down each side and then you've got your three car driveway and you've got like this nice little Half your front garden, walk in, you got your sofa with a painting, so you've got your nice little TV in your welcome area, you've got your storage rack here, you got, feel like your shoe rack, so you take off your shoes in the house, mind you, shoes off. Uh, I've always only ever known the shoes off um, household anyway, and I'm glad to only have that too, because um, it is not efficient whatsoever having the shoes on household uh, yeah you have to clean up a lot more often now, apologies for any noise outside that's just construction work uh, anyways you got your toilet here you got your toilet your sink your shower and here you've got like your main kitchen area which is a lot bigger than the uh, cottage court you've got all the blocks needed to cook and then you've got your dining table three seats on each side and the head of the table uh, if you head up here, go up the stairs into the nice living room. So you've got a seat, a sofa that can see seven people, and then like an eighth person can sit on the sofa. Although you might be able to squeeze a ninth person as well. Got your coffee table and your main TV. Well, not really main, but we'll see about that. And then you've got your um, gaming room, so you've got five like seats, and then you've got like your big monitor, little monitor, 
uh, keyboard and mouse on for each of them. And you've got your storage racks as well. Head around here, you've got the observatory with a sofa and some storage above that. Being able to look over the wonderful city, which in episodes before would have been just empty uh, coloured concrete blocks. And then we head up the stairs. You've got these uh, continuous storage racks on each side of the house. Um, we've got the first bedroom, with a nice little TV, we've got some store, a uh, bedside table and a bed. Second bedroom with exactly the same thing. Third bedroom with again the exact same thing. And the fourth bedroom with again the exact same thing, except for the storage on this side. And then you've got the bathroom, the main bathroom, you've got your shower, your toilet, your sink, and then you've got your bath as well. And then you've got the fifth master bedroom with a decent TV, a double bed with bedside tables. That, you can obviously tell that's like the master bedroom. So this is actually a five bedroom house with one bed being double. Um, now bed through here. So the other one, the cottage court, was one bedroom, double bed with one bathroom, which was like... Um, I had a shower but no bath. But here you've got your eight bicycle parking spaces in the garden with a little path running through the nice large furnished garden with flowers. You've got um, a stream which heads in a loop like this. Your path which heads around over the stream and again. And then it splits into two on this uh, peninsula here. Uh, you've got one here which heads to this um, seven seat uh, uh, dining table and you've got your storage and you've got your barbecue where you can flip burgers which is good you flipping burgers I mean I, I really love flipping burgers so yeah you get to flip the burgers on your own barbecue that's how you open up like the top as well to let the smoke out and we head back over here you've got another bridge as you head to this branch and then you've got the outbuilding, so you've got a nice little cooking area, you've got a toilet, so it's not two bathrooms, but actually three bathrooms in this house, which is kind of crazy. And then you've got the main TV, you've got like your cinema set up, with like the storage above, and you've got like this sofa. You head back around here. And back through here. You've got some other buildings, so um, actually, as a matter of fact, I'd like to discuss. So that's like the main, main house. Now, some of the designs, like these two right here, have a much like shorter, stubbier, like garden area, and then like you may not get the full. Uh, this one's full, yeah, but this one is also full. But the full dining, you've got the full barbecue and outbuilding. You've got the stream which runs continuously here with one crossing at this house. You've got the hotel which passes under completely. I'll show you that later. And then passes under this building once. And then the stream runs off uh, around the corner. And it just. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. So one bridge for this house, one here, uh, as I already discussed, four here. Um, actually here, you've got one really long bridge. And then you've got like two bridges here, one here, one here, and then you've got two here. Um, so I can actually show you, um, say here, um, you've got a one block wide alley on one of them, so this uh, barbecue slightly smaller, slightly shorter I'd like to say. Same thing for this one. This one's fine and this and this and this. This has a one block wide alley on this side which means you only have the barbecue like, a little bit smaller, you get one fewer chair. This is the weird house. Um, We've got like this nice little island here where the river ends, um, but there is no outbuilding because of the station. 
also you only get one one block wide alleyway down here so it's an incredibly narrow house you only get a barbecue it is a full barbecue but you get no outbuilding and as a matter of fact the river uh, continues underneath this flowery wall here heads underneath the road uh, round snakes round here in a curve and then heads up here <coughs> through the cottage courts, underneath the road where the blocks are a bit different, which are tower class I mind you, and then up here you've got the river passing through the ford and back out again that way. Now under here, um, you've actually got the intersection with another little stream here which runs up this way, and into here, these houses have an incredibly light shallow garden there's no bicycle spaces for these houses um also here instead of having like a horizontal like entrance um these have a very unique like entrance on the alleyway just thought i'd like to let you guys know about that and then you've got three more buildings which i still haven't shown you yet it's the two hotels and the apartment block so here you've got your zero star hotel got your like parking lot here you've got um yeah i'm not sure about that i might need to sort that out later you've got um the uh stream and then you've got your bicycle spaces out back and then in here you've got the reception area with some uh chairs here you've got your check-in desks here and the river which runs directly beneath and here you've got the carpeted floor, you've got your communal toilets, this hotel, like so. And then you've got your hotel rooms, so each features a double bed with bedside tables and a TV. And then we head up here, up the lift on either side, take you to the next floor, with the exact same thing, just all the way down. And then if you put up these lifts, again on either side, um, you actually get to, well firstly there's a storage room here, and then you've got a bedroom, but on this side you've got a sink, these are twin bedrooms, not double, and you get two TVs as well for each um, room. You head back down here. and head back out then we shall head to the one star hotel um we head out the back here and across the street um and then this is a one star hotel so you go in um you got your check-in desks your seating areas and then you've got the communal toilet so you've got like uh, this here and then there's another set around here just this and then you've got the bedrooms, although this one is actually a storage room. Now, on this side, uh, you've got a wall of uh, a wardrobe, a TV, double bed, and bedside tables. Same thing on this side. So you've got the west facing rooms, and the central rooms have double beds. And the east facing rooms have twin beds. If we head upstairs, which I won't head up the stairs, I'll actually head up the lift and head back down the stairs on the way out. You've got your vending machines here, and then you've got your bedrooms, which are the exact same. And as a matter of fact, I might as well treat myself to a one well, night stay in one of these bedrooms. Like so. Wake up, 6 o'clock in the morning, and head down the stairs. Um, as I said, and out here, and last but not least, you've got the apartment block. So here you've got the communal hallway, just down. Forgot about those. But then quick and easy fix. And then if we head out to the uh, main street, here you've got the entrance to the shops. So we head around here, and then you've got the um, aisles the supermarket 
and then you've got your communal toilets uh, in the supermarket itself and then you've got your tills here you hang and then you leave and on this side you've got a nice restaurant with a cafe as well got your uh, waiter some more communal toilets because it's necessary in establishment like this and you've got some dining tables as well as well as some shorter bar seats we've got a full kitchen here so when we head up here we actually have uh, we've got to head up here help lift and you've got the um, communal seating and the office cubicles so if you head in here we've got storage on each side of the uh, nice chair we've got here and also storage underneath this computer setup so we've got two big monitors with the keyboard and mouse we've got these all the way down on both sides except they, they all face north except this one which because of the toilet actually faces south um, so speaking of said toilets we've got the communal toilets here for the office workers and round here you've got some more north facing cubicles you've got your communal kitchen area a storage area and here you've got the councillor's office which has um, well, your alleys round the back and on the sides with really large storage units on either side of this massive chair um, and then you've got massive storage area and I've just realised that um, this councillor has to work with no keyboard or mouse whatsoever which is just extremely harsh so we'll fit that in like so you've got your three main monitors and your one tall monitor and then like so we can actually head up the lift once more And here we've got the um, terrace, the rooftop terrace. So you've got some nice communal seating areas with a nice garden overall and um, just some pathways. So you've got like one through here and then you've got like, one all the way around. And then you've got the staircase down here. And another staircase down here. And um, last but not least. Uh, actually, oh, the staircase is here. Yes, of course. Down here. And, uh, yeah. With that, that is the entirety of my um, village explored. Sorry, guys, I know I've been a bit long 43, 44 minutes uh, in total. Uh, but, yeah, I head back to my house to do the outro. So, head through here head up the stairs so um, the apartments of oh yeah ha 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 I have not shown you the apartments have I no I haven't so here let's just remind me you've got your um, wardrobe you've got your wardrobe here your TV coffee table sofa I've got your sofa your armchair and then you've got like your dining table your double bed with bedside tables, your TV, and then here you've got toilet, sink, shower, bath, and that is pretty much it. So I shall head back out um, using the lift. Head down the um, pathway here, all the way down into my front garden through here and upstairs around this way and up the stairs once more so yeah i just like to say uh thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please like subscribe share comment all the good stuff and i shall see all of you in the next video so take care bye for now